So um, figure for this figure, which is really really nice, showing uh, four processes at the same time. But since uh, the paper is on uh, photoluminescence and uh, we are more focused on emission rather than uh, absorption, maybe it would be reasonable to show the arrows going down for uh, um, radiative. And here it is good that for whole relaxation goes up. And, and then one can extend uh, caption and, and tell that so that arrows are for radiative and dashed for, for non-radiative. Because one uh, portion of audience will focus on the direct and indirect, and for some people it, uh, they will not care and they will look on radiative, non-radiative. Solid arrows go down? Yeah, yeah you can put it down to... to radiative. radiative photoluminescence. Mm -hmm. for, uh, thank you much for placing these figures here. One can label uh, valence band and conduction band, just and put more explanation of uh, like in the next figure. There is rather detailed explanation of what is here. And by the way, it's like, right now there are two figures, number three. If this one is three, next one four. So put, put here more detailed explanation, like uh, telling that it is uh, charge density distribution as function of uh, energy and, and momentum, right? And explain color, color codes, uh, and and uh, the this thick blue and uh, red lines, maybe later on when you will be uh, preparing the methodology section, there should be equations for, for this x and y components of the, of the science. Maybe mention that uh, this uh, circle corresponds to actual time of, of a slice. What's the meaning of the thinner lines? Is it just bands? Yes. So that but do you have data points between zero and point one? No. And if it is uh, if it is done this way, um, we, we are not setting up a plan to decept reviewer or reader. One can uh, write explicitly uh, data points are connected by lines to guide the eye, and then it is legitimate way to to present. And uh, why don't you be placing a text to describe it? It, it is, uh, uh, one can put additional um, discussion telling that um, there, there are evidences that uh, average momentum changes in time, and it, it may change non monotonously but may grow and then decrease, which is, uh, it maybe doesn't changes the world, it's not so revolutionary, but it's definitely new, so no one except you in the world was able to do it. So it will be very interesting just to focus on, the, on these features. Any other questions or suggestions? Maybe you can also put in downward arrows for luminescence. Hmm? So when they thermalize to the bandage, mm -hmm. you could also you could put in that there's three possible radiative transitions from that point. Oh, so that uh, here yeah, for like it, it may go this way, this way, and here. Or would it just be straight down for the same momentum? No, it would be uh, coexistence of several channels. Yes. For radiative. For radiative, yes. So, what I'm saying. So, like what? Yes. So that way, one here, that one here. Yes. But not, but not cross, right? No. Well, um, 
We do not have cross transitions in the code because we believe that they are forbidden in this highly symmetric periodic nanowire. Right. And uh, Dr. Hobby believes in effective mass approximation and in the use of uh, momentum terminology for quantum dots. And then in uh, the, the thing that we discussed on Friday, and then it becomes a little con confusing. Then uh, one does have the um, indirect transitions, <coughs> but it is consequence of the system not being pure periodic. Right. There are like signatures of periodic nature on the non-periodic system. And it is... Uh, you just have a, a probability of each one occurring? Well, that's how I, like during the meeting, that's how I assumed. You just, like, you just have a superposition of all three? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily cross? Yes. So for this one, it, it seems important to highlight the difference from the previous version of figure three, from the, uh, this will be number four, right? M mention, so he, th there is nothing contradictory, but m one may highlight that uh, compared to previous figure, here is the integration over all values of momentum. This one would be figure five. Um, there is a, nothing is wrong, but there are possibilities for make it more visually appealing and, and help to interpret it better. So um, have you seen the last version, the, the published version of the um, paper by Aaron, and specifically his table of content? So he shows dynamics of electrons and holes and completely removes the green background and puts white there. Uh, so you may ask him which trick technically he used it and maybe here uh, also remove background and show only uh, some features that deviate from, from equilibrium. It's nothing is mandatory, it's just, just maybe try several things. Another option is, uh, I've, I've, I've seen that in the a very last figure of the end of the supporting information, you placed logarithmic scale for intensity in this panel C, right? But would it be possible to play uh, logarithmic scale for panel B? Like we have, we have logarithmic for X, we have linear for Y, but can we apply logarithmic for Z? So that uh, if this um, Yes, so the, the features that are very slightly visible will be enhanced, and uh, the features that are already strong will be not, uh, not as much, will be maybe suppressed. So uh, in MATLAB, it, it just when you modify the figure, click on the Z axis log scale. Okay, yes, and, and check, check what happens. Maybe it will become so ugly that you do not want to show it to anyone, but try it. At least it is what uh, Dr. Hobby told he did for his uh, experimental results. And uh, he agreed that it is a weak signal and we need to make any... So is there energy? Huh? Is there energy access? Energy access? 
looks good. Well, you may check that they are literally aligned, that they are like these two and these two are at the same level. Right now it looks like uh, for first panel it goes from zero to... No, you said that you need to make logarithm scale of g-axis. So z is like coming out as... Z, z. z yeah. This is three-dimensional figure. There is x, y, and z. Mm -hmm. Z goes uh, out of plane of the figure and it is color-coded. Right? Uh, yeah. So like the red is like... It's like really coming at you. Okay. I think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then then uh, it it may we may see maybe this little feature in here, and uh, also there is a question. I'm 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 not aware about. I do not know, but it it is really interesting. Uh, do you know for sure that this peak appears literally at the gap? Or maybe it is a little above the gap. It is corresponding to that one. But um, there, is, there is a little. Um, we, we'll get to it better when uh, back when looking on, on other figures. But if it is not in the gap, maybe one can uh, indicate where is the gap by an error. I know I did for one of my models to get rid of that. The zero energy transition. I just figured out what transition that was, and I just mainly set them zero. Mm -hmm. So that could be another way to remove it if the log doesn't. And you just mentioned it. Just mm -hmm. did it with letters. Okay. So um, this is the same system. Um, I'm going. I'm, I'm going to jump uh, several pages forward to the figure S two supporting information, and then look on something there and then return to Okay, so here it does show um, the This one is 400. So um, maybe, maybe one could try and plot both absorption and emission as like two lines on the same panel. But the five is different. S by this one. Scale it, multiply by 100 or divide by 100 so that they look uh, similarly. We just use log scale for y axis. Because uh, here, probably this one is the gap tr uh, transition for absorption, and it is bright. Right? So the emission probably will help at the same peak. And here, the gap is. Um, about here, but it is dark, and uh, emission will be in this in this region when there is no absorption. Therefore, the intensity will be lower. But also, there is a chance that uh, there will be contribution to emission for not the lowest transition, but slightly slightly above. Maybe, maybe here. There is also. A I'm going to go back. Like, do, do, do we know for sure that the, this one is the gap and this one is the gap? Or maybe there are more states to the red? No more states. But, um, if absorption would be also shown here at the same axis, it, it may confirm, uh, convince readers and reviewers who 
do not care about theory and just want uh, some uh, experimental effects. So it is really interesting that uh, there are uh, features here and there, and um, they're not they're not seen in this integrated spectrum, right? But maybe if one would uh, shorten the integration range, like go uh, not from like uh, one nanosecond, but stop it at one picosecond. Th there could appear little features in here and there as, as, as a little numerical experiment. And it, it, it is not critically needed for the paper. Paper is already good, but uh, for discussion with uh, Dr. Hobby or his uh, she's, uh, bimodal uh, emission at, at the gap and above the gap. So, okay. That's the question I had. So Dr. Hobbes is more his quantum work, and this one is nano order. But uh, there could be very similar features at the same material. And this is a momentum dispersion in fluid, but there is no momentum dispersion for quantum work. Do not tell it to him. He is uh, under spirit of of some theorists that tell that it is partially possible and it's dangerous to, to, to argue with him. So um, if you take very, there, there are no absolutely periodic materials. Everyone is, is a finite chunk, right? Mm -hmm. So non-periodic systems may carry some properties of, of periodicity and he currently believes in uh, those theories that tell that even for large quantum dots, there are some signatures of, uh, of uh, periodicity of momentum. This can be interpreted as um, like, if you have particle in the box, mm -hmm. then the ground state has zero momentum. And first excited state, It has zero momentum, but momentum squared is not zero. It means that it is a superposition of non-zero momentum going in opposite directions. And in, in this sense, one can establish correlation between uh, things happening in the periodic systems and non-periodic. So it's an um, interesting check if, if, if you have uh, steam and, and Curiosity. It is not necessary, but it's maybe maybe not not for this one, but maybe for the next work, just uh, to check what happens in, in this region. Because in the previous papers that uh, we did for photoluminescence in the group, we, oh. we saw some some uh, signatures in this region. Yeah, maybe if, if one does it uh, this way, as you do it here, if you, if you look uh, uh, like 10 to the power 1, maybe there will be mm -hmm. little signatures here, especially if the integration goes in, uh, to a shorter time. If one lim limits the range of integration, there could something may, may appear here. Could you figure out what transition it is? You could try to calculate a lifetime and see if it's on the same scale as what Kavi measured. Because didn't they say it was like a nanosecond? But that's what the it could be set up. It could be far from um, quantitative comparison. Other 
other questions and suggestions to discuss about Fatima's book? Okay. Then let's uh, call it. Anyone wants to uh, serve as a persecutor or attorney of uh, Aaron? Or it was uh, clear comments that do not need discussion? Just enjoy it really much. I didn't find too many. Thanks. Even how, how it is going with uh, the this uh, diazonium things? I'm doing a couple of things. One of them is just to find the transition state using NEB calculations. <gasps> you you found how to do it. Yes, I can do it. But right you, now, should, you should teach everyone in the group. It's, it's really cool stuff. I guess the most important thing is to use VAS provided by VTST. Mm -hmm. They have a special version. Mm -hmm. And then just by using that, you can find some profile. Like you can get the barrier. It's great. Yeah. So you, you think it, it is delayed? It is not yet at the final stage of. Right, writing up. Right. Okay. That's good. Did you say NEB? Mm -hmm. Yes. I've heard of it before. I just uh, it's nudge elastic band, and it is um, like in, in Gaussian, there is a. So David is biggest expert in Gaussian in, on this table. Uh, there is a, a menu for uh, transition state search. Is several options, but uh, they are very specific for Gaussian, and they are not uh, available in VASP uh, because originally it was not designed for transition state search. It was only for electronic structure, molecular dynamics. But later, there were enthusiasts who um, who have written a little script that executes VASP and uh, uses it for finding transition state. And they do an algorithm that they um, connect reactant and product by a sequence of uh, uh, geometries and then compute energy of each point of, uh, on this trajectory and then try to nudge to, to uh, move these points of trajectory a little away and optimize it such a way so that the uh, barrier height along this uh, trajectory will be minimal. And then they report heights of this uh, barrier as the activation. So I just do a bunch of single point calculations and try to find at least energy. At, at each step, it is a bunch of single point calculations. But uh, when we do standard optimization, we optimize position only of minimum. And uh, here there is a cycle when uh, one optimizes uh, position of all points of trajectory, like one optimizes trajectory. So it's uh, in the language of classical mechanics, it will be uh, like uh, least action principle, finding least action path. But uh, it is a functional. So one takes a trajectory optimizes the potential profile and then redo, redo it again. Oh, so you have to like sample first? Or you have to like feed it in data from that? Mm -hmm. Go from there? Hmm. You didn't find me lying. It was going along with what, what you've read and learned while, while doing it. Right. Okay, good. So it, there is no rush, but when uh, there will be less uh, stress and hectic, maybe you, you may decide to make a little teaching presentation to sh show everyone the steps. Yeah, calculation is still running, so I guess I need oh, to make sure. No, not, not for, not for com 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 complicated thing. Maybe for something like uh, methane with oxygen, mm -hmm. very little. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, then it will, it will benefit your the project that you're running, and then it will be a small system to mm -hmm. practice and make demonstration and uh, teach everyone to, to do mm -hmm. that. So let's meet again in in, uh, in two weeks, right? And have conclusion sections ready. Well, at least for uh, those who are pursuing uh, submission of papers in this period. If others will do, would be also great. But um, I will be absent uh, next week, and uh, please contact me privately because right now maybe no, not everyone is happy but I, I would appreciate if, if there will be volunteers to substitute uh, one lecture on Tuesday and one lab on Wednesday next week because the semester is uh, ending up soon and uh, there is a we, we need to cover mi minimal amount of uh, skills so that uh, participants of the course will be able to, to do projects and uh, for lecturing, it will be just showing slides, something like examples of functionals. So it's just showing slides one by one and, and explaining how you interpret them. It's not, not challenging. And for uh, web, it will be um, cations and ions, excited state with uh, Fermi weights, uh, momentum dispersion, and Maybe there will be something left uh, this week. I will show mm, orbitals and molecular dynamics, but I, I don't know how, how quickly it, it will be because it may uh, actual lab goes slower. And if any of you decide to volunteer, it will be like having computer with projector in computer class showing some example and then going around the class and making sure that everyone is able to repeat typically. Uh, there are a lot of questions like uh, people are misspelling or f f putting extra space or forgetting a space and then nothing is working. Yes, come in. Do you have a class at six? Yes, we do. And I do. Uh, are you from tech? Uh, I uh, from the IT. Yeah, I, I'm just leaving now, and some of your students were concerned if the door would be. Oh open. yes. Um, are you um, affiliated with the same department as uh, uh, Daniel Erickson? Mm -hmm. So we, we I, I will need help in in a minute right here. So uh, it, in order to run Tegrity, it needs uh, admin password. That sh you should have admin rights on there. No. No. No, I don't. On this box, not on my PC. On this box. Let, let me show. So, integrity recorder. Run. If I type here my uh, DSU password, it doesn't help. Hmm. Can you troubleshoot it? Let me see. Um, I don't have any more rights to this um, than you do, but let me let me see if Daniel's around. Okay. So. Yeah. yeah thanks much. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, what else? Is there anything important happening for Friday? <clears throat> Uh, Friday, uh, well, if you have some family travel, that's appropriate, very appropriate. Uh, Levi will practice his, uh, he's going to ACS, and he'll practice his talk. Okay. So uh, you can either invest time in your personal activities, or if you have nothing to do, you can come there and prepare uh, tomatoes and eggs to throw into him. How many of you did um, get the 
invitation to submit uh, MRS advances. I know. Okay. Would you please share this uh, email with invitation with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it, the deadline is like uh, 11th. 11th of. of uh, so it's it's not a big challenge. R last time, Aaron positively surprised me. He prepared this uh, MRS advances manuscript in like half a day. <laughs> it was it, it was really well we we uh, bounced it forth and back but well the reviewer said it was the reviewer didn't look on that kindly but then we just kind of dressed it up in the review okay uh, anything else to bring up okay then uh, have a pleasant uh, ACS week that. Maybe we'll be less busy. Some, some many, probably some other instructors from from NDC also go in there, so it will be less busy week. And uh, thanks for investing hard in in this collective editing activity. Send out because I didn't get the email about the group meeting on Friday. Okay. Yeah. Just so you know. Yeah. Thank See, you. You. See you. Thank you. I didn't find out about it until uh, until I saw Daniel afterwards. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Uwe Burkhardt wants you to be his T for his PKM. I am more than willing to do that. Okay. Uh, I was I was intending to go try and talk to Tillin sometime this week, and if Tillin yes, please um, talk to Tillin, then talk to Uwe. I'm supporting you very much. Because, yeah, I, I figured that would be good. So, yeah, so, I, I was. So, there is a little. Uh, here today. Okay. One of Daniel's colleagues should be here anytime. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I'll go talk to you, Ray. Huh? I'll go talk to you, Ray. Yeah.